Bloomberg is the key instrument in the financial market. The big question really is, can this growth continue against the background that the constant threat of layoffs breeds insecurity and fear in employees? What is it that separates Richard Branson from the pack as regards an entrepreneur? Good morning, I'm John Dawson and welcome to Money Tracker. There's an organisation that calls the shots by profits before people. No, in that's, a sense. that's such nonsense. But you were called Neutron Jack as well. I mean, that was your Fine. title. Some guys like you with a newspaper or something, writing something. Th th that wasn't it. They didn't understand that you had to get your... Pick up today's paper and look at the sacks that are in there. 5,000 and a pop, 7,000. We're in a recession now, so it's a bit of a different situation altogether. <laughs> oh, oh, it's okay to throw I mean, it's not folks okay. out? It's, not it's okay? It's not okay, but there's still, you're right, five years, 81,000 jobs went. In Pittsfield, most of them as well. You're cutting a lot of jobs. Yeah, well, we had a transformer business. It lost money for 12 straight years. Okay? And we closed it. Okay, so you are making downsizing fashionable. Do you think that's no, the way for the future CEO to, grown, to, run, to rule this company? We have grown as a team. The constant threat of layoffs breeds insecurity and fear in employees. And we don't have that. You must have that. No, if they, people are frightened of losing their job, no, they're not pulling their... You're misunderstanding one thing. They know where they stand. They're evaluated every year. The week is ending once again with yet more bad news from one of the world's leading banks. UBS is the world's biggest manager of money for the wealthy. It is also the European bank saddled with the largest losses from the global credit crunch. The last one was the best offer. This is the most compelling offer. What's the next yes, few words you're going to use? Success. Success is the next answer. When do you expect success? I mean, is this going to be it? I think uh, as per today's plan, we should have closed this transaction. Well, this has been one of the biggest weeks probably ever for the world of mining, indeed, of course, for the price of oil. Oil is down from 147 to below $68 a barrel this week. That shows you the dramatic decline. Look at the industrial metals, big declines there. And this will explain, in fact, why we're seeing heavy declines for the metal stock. Zinc is down by 51%. How would you best describe the health of the cable industry and how severe is the credit crunch on the industry itself. Well, I don't think that uh, I don't think anybody. Fifty-five-year-old has just had his first full week off in two and a half years. Anders Moberg has done the repair job, and failure is not a part of the Swede's makeup. As he says, he's an awfully bad loser. But that's for the markets to decide. In Amsterdam, I'm John Dawson. I've always enjoyed being interviewed by John. He comes up with the uh, right questions, and more importantly, he listens to the answers and actually follows them up. Uh, and that's a very rare quality in today's uh, journalistic hurly-burly. He takes time, he thinks about it, and even if they're tough questions, and I've had tough questions from him, and there have been tough moments when it's tough to answer the questions, he does it with discipline, uh, with firmness, but with real style and gentleness, and that's a great combination. The price of oil is now a lot higher than it was in the 90s, and John Brown has taken advantage of that. You're paying, well, you're paying 12% above the premium price. That's paying too much for a company that's almost failing? I have not, uh, I have not seen a deal of that size yet where someone somewhere would have said you pay too much. Well, joining me now is one of the icons of British business, Sir so Richard Branson. Now, you had dyslexia and your school record wasn't fantastic. So what is it that separates Richard Branson from the pack as regards an entrepreneur? I mean, possibly it's the fact that I left school quite young. I never went to university and I see life as one long university education, almost like the university of life. <laughs>